Previously on The Potentialists. I want to hear what he has to say. Oh my God, I can talk. Wow, wow, this is weird. This is an amazing exercise for someone to be able to accomplish. It was important to all of us to see you succeed. That's such an unbelievable commitment that you took on. We're part of a culture and our culture is to succeed. Anyone can entertain you, but only we edutain you. With a mixture of fun, learning, and craziness, my team and I travel the world motivating and connecting with people. Get ready to make it happen. Today's a busy day. Let's get it started. Bert, let's go. Oh, here he comes. So Bert and Alexa took to the road on a beautiful day. Bert told me he went into Publix to get a couple of things he needed to beautify. Next thing I know, an hour later. I'm interested to see what kind of grocery shopping my husband's done, because I think it's been a few years since he's been in the grocery store. Especially by himself, might be a new record. It was, as there was not one, not two, nor three, but four different cartons of drinks. That's a lot of products you got there. Yeah, no, I gotta beautify myself. What'd you get? I got something for my skin, you know, something for my hair, something for my teeth, something for my beard, something for uh, the backyard, so when we sit down, we get eaten by mosquitoes, something for to drink. You're gonna get thirsty as I beautify myself. <laughs> <laughs> Back at the Boa House, the team prepared for a full day of filming when a debate over cultural origins broke out. Both of your parents were born in Cuba? Your blood is Cuban. Okay. You're 100% Cuban blooded, same as me. I'm 100% Colombian. Both of my parents immigrated over here and I was born here. My culture, my background, my roots, everything is Colombian. I am not in denial of my roots, but I am also in support of my country, which is America. Oh, excuse me. I am like one of the most patriotic people you'll ever meet yes. in your life. That, that's why you and I are having this diatribe. This is this. We're half breeds. Yes. Thank you. Breeds. Thank there you. Is no, we're not really Speaking American and right we're now. not really Cuban, Cuban or, or, or Colombian. Colombian. Correct. We're, we're not. not. What are we? But I hate the hyphen, the Cuban American or the American Cuban. I mean, well, we really are. So the, 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 It's not like when they say they're African American and they don't even know they're, they're freaking they have no idea. 400 years they ago no they idea. had family in they Africa. They have no idea. You know? But see, I'm trying to be true to our people and true to myself. Some of the, the the traditions and things that you do in your life are all based on your on your roots. Almost ninety percent, yes. Mm. Okay. Yes. So you're Cuban. Okay. <laughs> and with that settled, Bert came in to direct Sergio. To be honest, you gotta come up a pitch. I'm here at Boa to sell one of my songs. <laughs> <laughs> Why the here, bro? Cause it's a good hangout. You have fun? Yeah. <laughs> Actually, I'm here at Boa because it's like working at Google. I get to make sales in the morning, barbecue in the afternoon, ride holidays in the evening with my friend Bert, and then at nighttime, I get to hang out and have another party and do some more cooking and make fun of my friends. I love it here. Why would I want to go anywhere else? The only other place he wanted to go was to sleep. This is what happens when you fall asleep at the Boa house. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> because you wouldn't get mad at me. Never. <laughs> Got a little guess up there, huh? Hmm? Huh? What? What? Hmm? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and once Sabrina had finished facing Sergio, she and her father decided to make faces of their own. Okay, ready? Put your mad face. See the eyebrows. And then when you're like, who are you? Put the eyebrows. Who are you? And then when you're like, what? See how the eyebrows go? Huh? Like they're like, Can you do this one? Can I do one? The one. Thank I'm you. Yeah, look at my ears. Yes, I can. <laughs> we can't do yes, it. I can't do it. And after making a few hook-eyed faces, the situation really turned fishy. Oh. Yes. Ooh. The seafood was welcome to that night's dinner, in addition to a close group of friends for that evening's power social. But that's a story for the next episode. Oh,
yo, how you doing? Check this out, it's Serge from Bowl World. You better like us. And if you got something to say, leave a comment. And check this out, if you really got the guts, subscribe so I can get back to you so we can make it happen with Bowl World. Feel me?